believing in his guidance. April 15. Guided by the Spirit. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world, that come to naught, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the world unto our glory. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verses 5 to 7. You are accepted in the beloved. I have had the most earnest desire that you should perfect a Christian character, not in your own strength, but in the strength and in the virtue and righteousness of Christ. The donation of the Holy Spirit was the greatest gift God could bestow upon finite man. This is free to all and in this gift there could be no computation. This endowment specially signalized the enthronement of the only begotten Son of God in his mediatorial kingdom. In this, the gift of the Comforter, the Lord God of Heaven demonstrates to man the perfect reconciliation which he had effected between himself and men. Which hope, says the Apostle, we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which entereth into that within the veil, whither the forerunner is for us entered. Hebrews chapter 6 verses 19, 20. Has not God said he would give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? And is not this spirit a real, true, actual guide? Some men seem afraid to take God at his word, as though it would be presumption in them. They pray for the Lord to teach us and yet are afraid to credit the pledged word of God and believe we have been taught of him. So long as we come to our Heavenly Father humbly and with a spirit to be taught, willing and anxious to learn, why should we doubt God's fulfillment of his own promise? You must not for a moment doubt him and dishonor him thereby. When you have sought to know his will, your part in the operation with God is to believe that you will be led and guided and blessed in the doing of his will. We may mistrust ourselves lest we misinterpret his teachings, but make even this a subject of prayer, and trust him, still trust him to the uttermost, that his Holy Spirit will lead you to interpret aright his plans and the working of his providence. Manuscript releases 6 to 223, 224.